mercy on me, O Lord, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassion, blot out my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, as thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all of mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and, re and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy pre presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from the blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord, that thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I had given it the whole burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled. God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shall be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullets upon thy altar. <laughs> Thank you. 
царь мира и спасут наших, и тебе славу воцелаем, Отцу и Сыну и Святому Духу, и мы присмыли, и веку.
Having received God into her womb, the virgin hastened to Elizabeth, whose unborn babe at once recognized her embrace, rejoiced, and with leaps of joyous songs, cried to the Theotokos. Rejoice, Oh, 
сиял в его египтские просвещения истины, окнал я силы жить ему, и до него его спасе не терпяще твоя крепости, подоща, сикше и бабуще сиял в яку, то Богу рулице. Радуйся, 
act of thine incarnation, for they saw the unapproachable God as a man approachable to all, abiding with us and hearing from all. Alleluia. most eloquent orators mute as fish before thee, O Theotokos, for they are at a loss to tell how thou remainest a virgin and couldst bear a child. But we, marveling at this mystery, cry out faithfully. Rejoice, receptacle of the wisdom of God. Rejoice, treasury of this providence. Rejoice, thou who showest, showest to us a first to be fools. Rejoice, thou who exposes the Lord as irrational. Rejoice, for the former critics have become foolish. Rejoice, for the righteous of this have faded away. Rejoice, thou who didst rend the hearts of the Athenians. Rejoice, thou who didst fill the nets of the fishermen. Rejoice, thou who drawest us from the depths of the Rejoice, thou who enlightenest many with knowledge. Rejoice, ship for those who wish, who wish to be saved. Rejoice, harbor for sailors on the sea of life. Rejoice, thou bright and wedded. Pasti kotya mir, ijes tek ukrasitil, kasiam wo samong ketawang rije. I patrasi Jakobo nas radi avisja po nam čelavek, pa dobnim bo podobno je prizval Jakobo slišiš. Aleluja. Vsem naje si djevam bogorodica djevo i vsem tebe pribjegajušim i bo ni veselje zemlji pored utrojitja prečistaja Celsia mu u tvoje tvoje i vsja preglašati tebe nauči. Rejoice for thou didst cause the 
Adorata a ti, vosso tia, dom doutrini, sec do rechi, teu sela retom, prihide sa moio, to odxerxim, ca vos adorati, e radrav prut visania, slishit od sec, sice, aleluia. Oiuce Tvoje Rožestvo, palim Tia si, jako odševljeni hram Bogorodice, bo Tvojej bo vse lišča, bo Tvoje sodržaj vsejadu, ojvo Gospod, osvjeti, proslavi i nauči, pokriti Tebe vse.
Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy Lord, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blot our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for Thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heavens. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and under the ages of ages. Amen. Thank you. 
covered with faith for you. For thou thyself hast said, All things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believe that ye shall receive, and it shall be done unto you. And again, ask, and it shall be given you. Therefore we, though we be unworthy, yet open in thy mercy, ask this thou thy kindness upon thy servants, all we here commemorate today, and fulfill their good desires, preserve them, uh, uh, preserve them all their days, peaceful and calmly, in house and lengths of days, let us a safety hearken and graciously have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present that the way to create an abundant mercy for the all Christian and the all brethren. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Our position of souls and bodies with compassion and contrite hearts we go down before thee and draw in with crying to thee. Heal the sickness, heal the passions of the souls and bodies of thy servants. Metropolitan Schiller and Herman Theodosius, Archbishop Cyril Peter, Bishop George, Archmandrix, Job Seraphim, Anthony, Archpriest Andrew and Michael, Priest Michael and Sergius, Deacon Vitari, Servants of God, Olga Lydia Natalia, Julia Rubok, Leo Tatiana, Julian, Anna Nicholas, Leo Olga Satia Natalia, Susanna, Anna Sophia, Fatima, Elizabeth, Victor, Victoria, Anna, Elena, Sersha, Ligma, Nicholas, Archpriest, Constantine, Michael, Ladislav, Nicholas, for the deacons, <coughs> Joseph, Nicholas, Servants of God, Marina, and Catherine, and all the parishioners of this holy temple who are suffering from illness, and pardon them, for thou art kind-hearted, all transgressions voluntary and involuntary, and prepare them up from their bed of sickness, we pray they pardon. And have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O thou who desires not the death of sinners, but rather that they should return to thee and leave spare, have mercy on thy servants. All we are here commemorating today. O merciful one, banish sickness, drive away all passion and all ailments, as such shield and fever, and straight force thy mighty arm. And as thou didst rise up the Arius daughter from the abode of sickness, restore them to health, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou who by thy touch didst heal Peter's mother of uh, mother to in law, who has who was sick with fever, do thou now in thy love kindness heal thy our terribly suffering servants of their malady quickly granting them health, we delight the pray of a fount of healing heart and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this city and every city and country. May we preserve from famine, pestilence, earthquake, flood, fire, the sword, and the evasion of aliens. The civil war that our good and man loving God may be merciful and favorable, that he may turn away all the rest, tear it up against us, and deliver us from righteous threatening which hangs over us, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And again, we pray also that the Lord God may hearken to the voice of the supplication of us sinners, and have mercy on us. Hearken unto us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth, and have none to be far off at sea. And be merciful, be merciful, O Master, regarding our sins, and have mercy on us. For a merciful God art thou, and the lover of mankind, and unto thee we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Children suffering from unhealed ailments, who follow before thy holy image with faith, 
as a bird covers its nestlings with its wings, so do thou and all who art ever present, cover us with thy great healing on the In that place where hope vanishes, there will undoubted hope be. There where bitter sorrows overcome us, there will patience and rest be revealed. Where the torment and despair dwells in the soul, there will shine the ineffable light of the divinity. Console the faint-hearted, strengthen the weak, bestow softening and enlightenment upon embittered hearts. Heal thy ailing people, O merciful Queen. Bless the minds and hands of our physicians, that they might serve as instruments of the all-powerful physician, Christ our Savior. We pray before thine icon, that thou mightest truly live with us, O sovereign lady. Stretch out thy hands, fill with healing and cures, O joy of the sorrowful, consolation and afflictions. Then having speedily received miraculous help, we may glorify the life-creating and undivided Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom. Father bless. O most holy Theo, go save us. Our honorable and the trail of the memory of Comer, our glorious and the sinner of him. O the corruption gave his birth to the world of the word. The very Theo took a speech of his back and mind. Glory to the old Christ. summer and uh, the weather gets hotter um, and time goes on, we become less and less enthused about uh, the pandemic if we were ever enthused about it before, uh, but enthused about the quarantine measures and so on and so forth. Um, but it seems that if we, if we follow the quarantine measures that the, the disease rate goes down and if we don't, then it goes up. I'll leave it up to you to figure out what's the right thing to do, but it, it, it seems to me that all the quarantine measures, we will get rid of this pandemic quicker, and if we don't, it will take us longer, and longer is worse. So, as brothers and sisters decide that we're going to do our best for the good of our, our nation, for the good of our fellow man, uh, to try to uh, incorporate the quarantine measures into our lives so that we're less likely uh, to be one who spreads the disease, uh, and therefore that we won't hurt anyone by spreading the disease, may Lord grant us that. This coming weekend, uh, God willing, we will have our first meal uh, on Sunday after the Divine Liturgy since the pandemic began. Uh, since March, I guess, maybe you guys are right now, can remember now, please March, in March. Um, so, in any case, we hope that people can join us. And, uh, of course, it's the Feast of St. Peter and Paul. It's why we've been fasting. I hope that everyone can prepare themselves to partake of Holy Communion on such an auspicious day. Uh, and then, uh, God willing, we'll have 11 help, it's going to be a very good day, um, but again, as we uh, sit down
come for a meal together, we have to be wary and aware of the sort of distancing that we have to do. It's difficult, it's painful, it's, it's unpleasant, uh, but it's way less unpleasant than getting sick or getting somebody else sick. So um, we'll be there to remind you. But they will lovingly uh, remind people that they're getting 